I've read countless articles recently on why as a coach, consultant or small to medium business, you absolutely don't need to be blogging. Now, these sources are touting that the idea that you don't need to be a talented writer or to be a talented business person, that having a blog is a lot of work and that a blog, um, you know, it's too saturated in the world and they are unnecessary blogs that may or may not get read while they float in the infinite black hole of the world wide web. Ouch, that must hurt. But whether you're a coach, consultant, freelancer, entrepreneur, or small business owner, these articles say that your time is better spent um, marketing your services via advertising, email, networking, or optimizing your business web pages for search engines. While all these marketing tactics are valid and helpful, I still find myself sitting here and asking, are you kidding? You know, because... A business blog is one of the best ways that you can promote your business to both your existing and your prospective clients. And for just about a billion different reasons that I'm going to say in this podcast, okay, maybe not that many, but still, a business blog is a brilliant marketing tactic that is being seriously underused in today's small um, to medium business uh, or the entrepreneurial sphere. Now, let's start with my favorite reason uh, to having a business blog. It actually helps you create a defined business brand, and that's true. Consistent business branding is often overlooked, but your branding is maybe the primary reasons why your clients are actually drawn to you in the first place. So by blogging regularly, you're clearly communicating your business value, your services and ideas while solidifying your brand. Now, your blog posts are also giving your prospective clients an in-depth look as to who you are before they actually commit to working with you. Every business owner or entrepreneur wants to work with their ideal clients and through a brand unifying blog, your ideal clients are more likely to seek you out and they'll actually find you based on the content that you put on your blog. Not to mention that any blog post that you promote, um, you know, is also acting as a cement to the reasons why your current clients already love working with you. A blog is also an excellent way for you to establish your experience in your field. And in other words, writing about what you do and providing useful and accurate information to your readers actually gives some serious street cred. And without a blog, clients are expected to just maybe blindly trust your expertise. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't matter if you have a five inch thick file of references or referrals and, you know, your, a big portfolio. None of those things actually show your client what you can bring to the table um, for them and how you can actually help them. But if someone stumbles upon your blog post on social media, you know, well, we'll get that to, to that in a minute. And if, you know, if you can actually explain their pain points that they're experiencing, it actually offers a few helpful tips and you can immediately be in their good books. All right. So if your business has something to offer, your blog will be the place that highlights that in a professional way. Now, I mentioned social media earlier on and, you know, it's, you can create amazing content by regularly publishing a rich, um, you know, blog where your client base or your target market can actually engage with your business. All right. You can also use your blog for customers um, that have already worked with you um, and you give them a good story to tell. Now, Let's get a little bit more technical. Your blog drives more traffic to your website and it actually increases sales conversion. So when you link your blog post back to your website, you're successfully optimizing your web pages so that your visibility in search engines is evenly distributed. This not only helps your blog post to get more views, but it also redirects your readers to your website and each blog post actually increases the likelihood of your blog to appear um, in search engines and also helps your website 
get more visibility and you can capture more um, traffic, which will likely grow your business. So taking this idea a little bit further, you can use your blog post to your advantage without being slimy or salesy in mass email marketing campaigns that people generally find off-putting in the first place. If you incorporate calls to action in your blog post, um, think the links back to your contact page. You know, you're offering free offers, maybe tutorials, infographics, all that stuff. You can use that to effectively promote your products and services while completely avoiding that yucky feeling you get after sending a sales pitch in an email to your lead list. Okay, so next time you see an article explaining that maybe your business blog is a waste of time and it's it's not going to help you grow your business, don't give it a time of your day. Your blog can be as involved as you want it to be. And, you know, research has shown that a blogger who only posts maybe one to two times a month still puts in up to 70% more leads compared to business owners that don't even publish any blog posts. So... My question to you is, does your business have a blog? How does it help you grow professionally? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on blogging. And you should actually understand that when you help your customers by actually helping them, you, my friend, will stand out from all the me too.